Hi everyone, Kevin here from Sticks and Stones Wood Carving. Welcome back. And uh, we're about to close up November, so I guess it's time to start making a couple more Santa things. That I know to some of you is you don't really like the Santas. You'd rather do wood spirits, but we're going to do plenty of wood spirits. Don't worry. But I think uh, I should make a little ornament or, or something, you know, so we can start carving some holiday things. So I'm just going to show you a quick little project. I make these a lot. I make them big. I make them small. You can hang them on the tree or you can make them to hang on the wall. You can do them out of chainsaw, logs, whatever you feel like doing. All right. So let's get right to it and I'll show you uh, a quick little Crescent Santa drawing and then we'll carve one out. Okay. The basic idea for the Crescent is, you know, to make kind of a moon shape. So that's what I'm doing here. All right. You pretty much want the tip to tip be fairly even. And right here, just think of making a moon. All right. Come down to about here. And we'll put a little ball on the end here. And that's going to be his cotton ball, of course, for his, his hat. Right about here. I'm going to draw a line like that, and that's going to be his hat. Okay. And down from that, right here, the bottom of his hat, right underneath it, we're going to make his eye and everything. All right. So from here, we're just going to go across. And that could be the bottom of his hat. I'll make a bump right there. All right. And that right there is going to be his eye. We're going to turn it up a little bit. We don't want it to look too mean. I like to give him one more bump kind of there. And then give him a nose that kind of sticks out. Like that. Now up in here you can do his eye. And we can make his eye as happy or as grumpy. Whatever you want. Right. This right here is going to be all fur for his hat. Okay. Now from there let's come down a little bit. We're going to take this line and we're going to go up. Do about there. Come over here about halfway down his nostril about there. All right. We're going to do another line. And this is going to be, of course, his mustache. This right here will make hair. And then right underneath that, we can make a little lip if we want. You can bring that over as much as you like. Now there, it's just pretty much, this is going to be beard, and we're just going to attach that. And here we have a crescent Santa. Okay. Now once we color his eye and everything in, you know, and we paint him and give him his mustache lines or whatever and his beard. All right. All this will just be painted beard. We'll have a nice little Santa. And we can make this a little bigger at the top, kind of when we cut this in, we'll just cut that under it. His hat will be a little wider than all this. Okay. You could draw it like that at the beginning if you want to. All right. Now, this guy right here looks kind of grumpy, but we can make him look just fine when we carve him and not make him look so sad. We can even give him a little bit of mouth here. Okay, and then we'll just give him a couple of smile lines. And that right there is pretty much it as far as the drawing goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get a piece of wood. I'm just going to use a piece of pine for this demonstration. And uh, I'll draw my Santa on it quick and cut it out with the bandsaw. All right, I'll do this type of Santa. And then we'll just carve them out and paint them up. Simple, little, easy, fun project. Okay. Okay. Okay, so I cut them out with the bandsaw and uh, do the pattern on cut it out with the bandsaw. And I'm just going to take this cylinder bit. It's a, a kutzel bit, one eighth inch shank. And I'm going to just start cutting these lines in. You don't really have to go too deep. And I'm not going to carve this all the way 
around just for purposes of the demonstration here for the video but I will guard the front of it and show you how I do it I'm just gonna zip around I'm gonna try and around them over and I could use a bigger bit here but uh, this one happened to be in the Dremel because I was doing a project before this and uh, I can use this this is just a piece of pine again it's just a pine board I picked up at the hardware store and uh, I was going to make a couple things out of it. I decided to do a quick video, and I grabbed it and traced the sandal on that. So, so I'm going around, and I'm smoothing it, and I'm trying to round the corners. And I really don't like the pom-pom on the hat since I'm using this bit to rough it out. So I might just zip that thing off and uh, put a cotton ball on there too. But you guys can carve the pom-pom. Uh, I made it on the drawing, so... When I just actually transferred it to the wood, I kept the pom-pom. But I think I am going to take the pom-pom off. And uh, I'll put a cotton ball and paint the tip white for his hat. And stick a little piece of cotton up there. It tends to look a little better for these. This is about ornament size. And I'm just, you know, shaping him to a point on the bottom of his beard. And uh, I'll cut the pom-pom off and I'll taper the hat to a point at the top, too. It's just one less thing to carve in the video. And, uh, but all I'm doing is just tracing them a couple of simple lines that I have. I will take the hat and carve around all the way around. It'll be uh, easier for painting. And when I do these, I usually do carve both sides. Okay, so he'll be fully carved on the other side also. But you can just do one side and put them flat on the wall or hang it on the tree. Or if you make them big, you know, uh, I used to put a ribbon through it and hang them. You can hang them outside. And inside. So it just depends on what you want to do with it. It's just a quick little easy project. And let's see if we can get this uh, pom pom whittled down and take it off here. I think it'll just be easier for me to stick a piece of cotton on the end. But they're easy to carve. I mean, uh, I'd probably have to use a different bit if I was going to carve this down once I get it so so close to the bottom there because it'll be easy to zip off and make a mistake so I might as well just take it off now okay so now I got them kind of carved out got some details on them he's shaped up that's not too bad now right here I got my little comb bit from Dremel and I'm just gonna go around those lines and get a some of these details burned in a little bit better I can go underneath the mustache and I can go around even to the other side which I'm not carving in this video but get those lines set in pretty good before painting them and uh, I can even put my eye in with this little bit if I do use this little bit a lot like I had said before in many videos it uh, burns as it cuts this is the mini version of it you can use the bigger version of it and uh, do chainsaw carving eyes and even cottonwood but uh, it's a good little bit it's gonna set those lines in that I, I carved a lot better and I can get some detail on it and right here I'm using it to actually poke holes in the hat to give it the appearance of fur so then when I paint over it that'll be roughed up and it'll give it a little bit better effect as uh, the fur underneath this Santa hat. Now let's see if we can get some eyebrows on him with this bit and we'll do a little bit of an eye. Not much. Keep them simple. I'm going to sand it over a little bit. Got a piece of 220 here. Now I got my gouge. It's a very small uh, veiner actually that I'm using here. I'm just trying to rough it up a little bit, you know, in the beard and clean out where the cheek is and the mustache meat. And just to give the beard a little bit of texture when we go to paint it, it'll show through a little bit better. Just going around, I'm doing this on both sides of the carving, okay. And I clean it up a little bit. Get that tip to come to a point with the knife underneath the nose, cleaning that up a little. He's looking pretty good. Now I'm going to smooth everything over with a fluted ball from Dremel. This is just a steel ball. Uh, 
and it's got the flutes in it. But if you go around a piece of hardwood like this pine, this is actually softwood, but it cleans it up pretty good. And it'll smooth it out, and I'll be able to take a lot of the any chunky spots or any bumpy spots, anything I want to round over a little bit, this bit works pretty good on it. It just kind of smooths everything down. I can even put a little extra detail in if I just want some waves. But it helps to clean up and straighten out, like underneath the hat and the edges. See how it rounds it over. Again, touching it up with some sandpaper here. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Not too bad. Simple little project. Time to paint them. Not going to spend lots of time on them. I'm just going to throw some red on them. Basic red for his hat. And these are just acrylic paints. Not using oils or anything fancy. Not really uh, caring too much. You know, it's just, like I said, it was just made out of a board, but you can sit there and make these all day and just make four or five of them, make a set of them, hang them on the tree if you like. And you could go into some really good detail on painting them. I'm not going to do that in this video. I'm not even going to really take too much time on them. I'm just throwing some paint on them. I do have this video sped up, but I think I painted them pretty much just as fast almost as <laughs> speeding it up. Like I said, I'm not too concerned about it. This is just for a video to show you how to do it. I could make him a lot nicer, even carve him a lot nicer. But just giving you the idea of a nice little pattern you can make and a quick little project you can make. The other side, I'll paint like I'm doing, like he was carved. I'm going to paint the beard and I'll put a little flesh up at the top and everything, even though there's no details on him. I think this is titanium white, actually. It's a pretty bright white, also. Okay, I usually hit it with the blow dryer in between to dry it out. That way I don't have to wait so long in between uh, putting the next coat on. Now I take some almond color paint and I'll just go over the face with a smaller brush. And I like to use the almond color on these because it's real easy to blend some red in there and blush the cheeks as much as I want. And it's, it's fairly neutral. There's really not much difference from this color than the color of the pine that I'm using. But it'll be enough to seal them up a little bit and get some other paint on them for what I want to blush his cheeks and... Put some other colors in there to make them look a little bit more interesting. Like I said, this is a very simple project and it's nothing I'm going to spend a lot of time on. So I'm not trying to make the best carving that I've ever made as far as Santa goes, that's for sure. But uh, it's something that anybody can do. You can even cut it out with a coping saw if you don't have a bandsaw. And the drawing itself is pretty easy to do. So it gives you one more project to practice on. And you can use your different bits that you've been practicing with, you know, as we're carving along and you're picking up uh, more tools. It's even a fun whittle to do uh, on a piece of basswood or something if you're just using a knife and a couple of gouges. Right here, I'm back to putting a little bit of white on. You know, doing the eyebrows. And I always go around the side, even though it's not carved, and... Try to get some of that white on that side too. Because if I was hanging him, say, and he would turn in the wind or something, you know, at least you have some paint on the back. But like I said, usually I would carve both sides. See, I'm going all the way around the hat. And those holes I punched in with the bit will show through the paint. And once I have everything painted up and dried off, then I'll start putting a little bit of different uh, colors on the cheeks. You know, I usually put a little bit of red on the cheek, which I'm about to do. But first, what I like to do after I blow dry it is I'll take a piece of 
brown paper bag. And I'll go around the carving with it and rub it down. That kind of smooths the paint down. Takes some fuzzies off. And it makes it a lot smoother. And gives the paint, uh, when you rub down acrylic paint like this with a paper bag, that's a good little tip if you're doing painting to really get a nice varnished look on it. And it makes it a lot nicer. So it's a good smoothing agent without taking any paint off, but it smooths the paint over if it's bumpy or you have some pieces of uh, wood that are sticking out or whatever. And now I guess it's time to blush the cheeks a little bit. So I'm going to add some red, wipe most of it off of my brush, and just kind of dry brush it around the cheek and the lip area, the nose. It doesn't take much. And then I'll go back to the almond and I'll blend that in. Make sure you get a lot of that red out of your brush when you do this. And it'll give it that pinkish look like he's been out in the snow. And the cold weather. And it's just a matter of, you know, adding my almond over top of that and blending it in. Uh, you could do this dry or wet brush techniques. I'm not going to get into too much detail about painting. Like I said, this isn't really a video for that. I'm just going along and showing you the process that I do if I'm going to do a Santa. And I would do all this in great detail, you know, if I was really trying to make a super good Santa. But this is a little quick one. Christmas is coming. I usually make a bunch of these and we'll stick them around and the kids give them to friends for gifts or whatever. You can use that almond once you have his face pretty red and pink color and blushed to put highlights in also, but I'm not really going to do it that much in this video. You can add a dab of blue here, just a little blue circle for his eye. And then we could put black inside that. There's all kinds of ways to do that also. Again, hit it with the blow dryer. And make sure everything's dry before I move on. Time to add some black. And what I like to do is I'll put black, this is going to be out of the camera, I'm just going to show you a little bit of it, but I like to outline a lot of the lines like around the mustache, around the nose, uh, the cheeks, the mouth, all the cuts that I have, uh, doing an eyelid here, you know, right under his eyebrow, and there I'm going around the nose, and I'll put black around places that I think... Uh, are going to make it look nicer and then what I will do is take the same colors like I'll take my white and I'll blend that in and then I'll take the flesh color or some pink or the white on the beard and I'll cut up to the black so then it just outlines the face a little bit nicer than it would usually if it was if I would just leave those lines not shaded so that's another old thing I do when I'm painting uh, just a little tip there's one way you can do something like this. Don't judge him while uh, I'm doing it until actually he's painted all the way. Just like to break up the plain old white if there's not enough cuts in the in the wood. And the mustache here, like I said, if there's too much black, I'll go back with the white then blend it in. It gives it kind of like a smudged look, which is kind of a cool look when you get add a couple of other painting techniques that I'm really not doing here in this video but uh, it does make a difference in the look of your Santa okay, most of this black will be taken away when I go back and I repaint with the white It'll be just enough to outline him and make him look okay. I'll clean up his eye a little bit too. Maybe put a black dot in. Maybe put a little bit of white there. But you know, make them your own. You paint them how you like. And I put a couple of stars. Well, these aren't exactly good stars. I usually use the toothpick for this, but I used the brush that I had. And it was a little bit too wide for these, but for the video, you get the idea. And that's pretty much how I make a Crescent Santa, guys. So, I hope you like it. Try it out. Merry Christmas. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye now.